West Mercia Police Constable PC Joan Jinx. We spoke about her on the 8th of April, 15th of June and the 29th of July regarding allegations and charges of malicious communications after sending an offensive message via WhatsApp in a group chat containing other West Mercia Police Constables. Back when we reported on this previously, she was facing charges along with now former PC James Watts, who was found guilty of the same charge surrounding images and messages mocking the death of George Floyd. 31-year-old Watts accepted in police interviews that the 10 messages that he had sent were racist in nature and featured images of a kneeling mat and a monkey. 41-year-old Joan Jinx was also charged with three counts of sending a grossly offensive or menacing message by a public communication network alongside was. However, she at the time pleaded not guilty. When Watts was jailed for 20 weeks, the judge said, you undermined the confidence the public has in the police. Your behavior brings the criminal justice system as a whole into disrepute. You are there to protect the public and enforce the law, but what you did was the complete opposite. The hostility that you demonstrated on the basis of race makes this offending so serious that I cannot deal with it by a community penalty or a fine. A message must go out and that message can only go out through an immediate sentence of imprisonment. And so serious were the charges that West Mercia police failed to do their job properly when it came to Joan Jinx and Jinx was cleared of all three charges because the judge found that prosecutors failed to bring charges against her in time. Originally back in June last year the CPS decided that they would take no further action against Jinx but following a review from the IOPC prosecutors decided that she should be charged on October the 18th last year. However the postal requisition, in other words, the notice of intended prosecution, was not sent out to Jinx until March this year, five months after they decided to charge her. This has now put her outside the time frame of being uh, to bring the case to court for a matter such as this. Therefore, Deputy Chief Magistrate Tan Ikram had no choice but to find Jinx not guilty. He said the requisition had not been made in accordance with the rules, adding the defendant cannot be tried on these three charges. Now I bet Watts is kicking himself. If only he'd denied it, he could well still be in a job. But as it is, we still have somebody who, based on what Watts has said about the racist connotations of those images, is also a racist. So, if you ever come into contact with PC Joan Jinx, just be warned, she might treat you differently based on who you are.